Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today we are going to be, well, yeah, we're going to be finally talking about the Valorant Challenges Sage 3, Challenges 1. Finally. Uh, I should have made this video a long time ago, but I didn't because I'm too lazy. But here we are, I'm finally making it. So before we get into all that, let's just first talk about the roster moves and then we get that out of the way. So Thief, who was actually who was sub who was subbing in for Zealous, who I did mention in the video that he got suspended um, for the duration of Challengers One. He is now back in Luminosity Gaming, who is inactive, which he is inactive. Uh, other stuff also including that Zest, he's now inactive in Vision Strikers. I think had an injury, if I remember correctly. Ekis has now joined. Uh, ninjas and pajamas and x610s will be now the assistant coach for ninjas and pajamas uh hunya i i actually I, I don't know how you say that i'm just guessing he's now off the, the inactive role for ghost gaming and this is possibly the biggest one and this is the biggest retirement since tens retiring from valorant caboose has retired from valorant after previously playing for team envious now it's actually quite sad because i think caboose was a very very good player and I do wish, uh, and I do wish him luck for his future endeavors. But the man replacing him is actually not here. It's Marv. Now it was, um, obviously it was, you know, it was rumored, but it is true. He's actually now on loan from Base Clan to uh, Team Envy. Trigo, he's also now being, he's now, who's, um, he's also now in Immortals. Baby J has joined Phase Clan. Ken's, um. Pioneers, he's they've now started a, a Valorant team. Thief is, oh uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, Thief now subs in for Zealous, just for the time being. Bang, he's he's now joined TSM. Uh, other ones, Fave Gaming made some changes. Uh, Evil Geniuses have also made some changes as well, basically getting rid of most of the female players and having one female player left. Which I can't remember to my head. Claudia, um, Claudia has actually joined. CLG Red. Uh, other ones, now I'm trying to have a look. We did, he's now joined NRG after being inactive uh, with Xset. A lot of changes now for Crazy Raccoons after, like, uh, I mean, they, they didn't do that bad, I'll be honest, in Reykjavik, but kind of expect them all. Barzi, Mi uh, Fisky, Minter, and Aid, they've all joined Crazy Raccoons. Ryan and Zephyr, they've now become streamers for them. Zekin, he, he's now he's now a part of XZ Gaming. Draken is back in Guild Esports, which is a bit weird. Brax, Dawn, and Spider, well, and Day. So, Brax and Dawn, they have all joined T1. Spider has now become inactive, I think, for like a wrist injury or something. And Days has left T1. Um, other ones, G2, obviously, they have made those they they made their changes. Pith has actually become inactive, which I'm which I was very, very surprised about. And Kellox, he's now joined um, G2. Dark Zero Esports have also made their switch into Valorant, with basically recruiting Kuki Koalas and Kohler. RV, he, they've now also came up um, to Valorant as well, by just only signing Cloud and Thevs as the player and manager. RobWiz has left, B, uh, has left um, the by Gamers. OG have also made some changes as well. Trex, DPS, uh, Destrin and Tazisk has joined um, OG. Uh, I think that's really about it. Death has joined Xset. The Glow has uh, joined Vision Trackers as a coach. Uh, Ko um, Koala Noob has joined Ghost Gaming as a trial. I think it's ended now. Dapt has retired, so that's another pretty big name in Valorant who's now retired. Uh, Jerk, he's joined Renegades. Uh, there's obviously the Team Heretic stuff, and that's really all I'm going to really talk about, but, yeah. Um, and I was looking for the rumors, I'll go to quickly touch on the rumors for a second. Thriffer has joined Anbox, Artist has left Team Heretics, while Amelia has joined them. Uh, Levitation Angie has joined TSM, Boy has joined our 100 Thieves, Giants Gaming have also made some changes, David P and Ambi have joined them. That's really about it. So let's now move, okay, so let's now actually talk about the challenges. So Sage 3, Challenges 1 for North America, Europe, Brazil, and Korea. 
Now, just before I mention as well, just for a little disclaimer, uh, disclaimer, Korea is still ongoing, but this is kind of just like it goes for uh, to August 1st, but we'll be still be talking about it. So, challenges three. Challenges three. Challenges one for North America stage three. That was also won by Sentinels with XZ behind them, 100 Thieves in Team Envy. They'll be all joining them, uh, joining Sentinels in the challenges playoffs uh, to make it in for Berlin. Uh, some very notable uh, noble teams have also came in, like Rise and Pioneers. I'm, I was very surprised that these teams actually made it in. Um, TSM couldn't make it. Face Clan couldn't make it. Uh, fuck, fuck. Um, Cloud Nine Blue couldn't make it. A lot of very promising teams could not make it um, into um, challenges one. So if we have a look at the open qualifier for them. I'll 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 only go through this very, very quickly. It's Anbox, Gen G, obviously Noble, Drug Zero Esports, Sonics. Did pr they actually did actually did really really well against um, Sentinels, actually taking their first map off them. Clan Nine Blue, Virtuoso, Luminosity, T1 as well as also in it, but still no TSM or even Phase Clan. They got beaten by Drug Zero Esports. Renegades was out as well. See, look at that. Very, very, a pretty good game by them. TSM lost to Noble. This was, uh, actually, what's it? I can't remember. And built by Gamers as well. Rise also being now Clan Time Blue. A lot of promising teams obviously failed. But I'm very, very happy that Rise and Pioneers especially did very, very well against the top teams. So let's just focus on ourselves here, uh, ourselves here into the bracket. So, very easy stuff here, not really that surprising here. Um, very surprised that Pioneers actually winning against V1. I think Pi I think Pioneers are definitely are definitely a B tier team. V1, they've definitely struggled now. I think without Zealous in the lineup, and also adding Thief into it, possibly struggled. Genji, not that surprising that they won against Rise. The upper bracket semi-finals is where it, got, where it gets a little bit interesting. Sentinels loses to Xset. Which, to be honest, Exet is a very, very good team now, especially now with Death as the IGL, a very good, a very, very good team, and Zeken, um, also coming in, who perform, ex who perform extremely well, um, with the Sky, and then Exet and Exet winning against 100 Thieves. So this is effort. So Exet, them actually winning all these rounds, this is a good sign for them in the future. This definitely is. Basically, they're basically now cementing themselves as an S tier team. They are going to be competing now with the top dogs, like Sentinels, Gen G, 100 Thieves, Team Envy, and possibly maybe and possibly version one. But I feel like they're like an A tier team now. And Sentinels also have their massive run in the lower bracket and beating out X set in the grand final, which is not that surprise handle. So that is Sentinels. X at 100 Thieves and Team Envy, they'll be now in the in, they'll be now in the Challengers playoffs, um, alongside two other um, four other teams in the Challengers too. Pioneers, Gen G, V1, and Rise, they will get a buy from the Open Qualifier, which has not started yet. I don't think it has. No, it hasn't. Okay, cool. So that's North America done. Let's now have a look at Europe. And I did actually watch some like some clips of Europe, and I was am I surprised that Ascend really won? No, not really, because CNET is possibly the best European player, but we're in the well in the scene in Europe. In yeah, in Europe, but even EMEA as a whole, he's the best player. Second to them is G2, then Guild Esports and Fun Plus Phoenix. So as you see, no team, uh, no team Heretics, which is a big surprise. Rickstar GG did a did a very very good run. If you have a look at the, cl at the close qualifier, these are the teams that obviously made it. In, as you see, there's big wave esports alliance team finance. Still, no um, team heretics. And what happened to them? They kind of flop here. This is where they flop. Still, nothing here or in, uh, for team heretics. And uh, well, I think no heretics is. Oh, yeah, they didn't even make it into this. They, they, they didn't even make it to the open qualifier, they were knocked out immediately. I don't even see them here. They're not, yeah, but knocked out immediately, which basically means that Team Heretics definitely lost in this little roster change battle in Europe against the likes of G2, Alliance, Giants Gaming, 
Oh, actually, actually, yeah, I did talk about Giants Gaming as well in, in, in another video. In, in, in another video, you could check it out. Uh, Ascend and all those teams. They've they are definitely the biggest losers out of all of them, which is which really sucks to see. So this is obviously what the well the main event. So these are Team Skilled Esports, Ascent, Liquid, G2, Fnatic, Rickstar, GG, Thunder, BDS, and Fun Plus Phoenix. Results here, not that surprising that Fnatic actually won against Liquid because Fnatic was the best European team in Reykjavik. Guild Esports winning against Team BDSM, not that surprising. Not that surprising at all for the upper bracket quarterfinals. Um, I guess, nah. I guess what was a little bit surprising was that G2 didn't really make up, didn't really have a fight against Fun Plus Phoenix, but they did obviously went on this huge rampage in the in the low bracket. Both of the, both of the Reykjavik European teams were eliminated in the low bracket round two by Fun Plus Phoenix and G2. Uh round here as well. G2 gets their revenge. Ascend obviously win winning against Fun Plus Phoenix and Guild Esports winning against Fnatic in the upper bracket semifinals. Then Ascend winning against Guild Esports in the in the upper bracket final, which I did watch a bit of it, and I also watched a bit of the grand final, Ascend versus G2, and my god, CNED was disgusting. They were thrashing G2, and also G2 did, did make a pretty good comeback in Ascent and Haven, but it was not enough, and Ascend beat the G2 in a 3-1 fashion. CNED did, a, did an amazing job, include, oh, uh, including like everyone else. Baron Cole did amazing, Starkzo did amazing, Everyone in the Sen did an amazing job. Uh, G2, uh, I feel like Cold Menta was kind of, like, was picked up quite a lot. Um, Nuki did pretty well, Averva did pretty well. Mixwell and Kologs, they were not that bad. I should say that. I just want to say, shout out to, uh, I, I think it was Roden? Roden, or, oh, yeah, I think it was Roden who did, who was popping, popping off, I think, against, um, I think against Guild Esports, they were doing an amazing job, but obviously Guild Esports got the better of them. That is Europe, let's have, have a look at Brazil. So this is the results now for Group A and Group B for Brazil. Team Vikings, Fury Esports, Game Landers Blue and Sharks Esports obviously qualified. Is anyone surprised? No, no one is surprised because they are the top four best teams in Brazil. Another surprising that Sharks Esports actually lost a map against Nord uh, Nordic Do uh, Nord Norg 2.0, I don't know, a weird name. Very, very surprised out there. Um, but they still make it into Challengers 2, which I did, obviously, um, which I did gloss over there. Now let's just have a quick look at Korea, and then we'll be done. Korea, so obviously, the, so Korea is a bit different compared to everyone else. Um, they will be having like a, like a, uh, like, so they're into like groups. So they're sort of top four from each of them. Will be in the well. I, I, it's a bit weird, but eh, we'll find out later. <laughs> uh, but new turn claws, damn one, noble, experience, vision, sh um, vision strikers, unknown, all uh, WGS Goma, Prince, Ru Gaming, TNL, DFR, F4K, Alpha Six, Got Chigaru, MU Jig, hundred, a hundred Su. They're all obviously part of the, on the main event. Not a lot of surprises here. Obviously, the I so new turn and TNL they are the highest seeds in their, I guess in their bracket. Um, new turn obviously winning in their bracket, and TNL winning their bracket. Um, couple minutes time in thirty minutes will be Prince versus F4K and then Vision Strikers versus Gojugara. And I think Vision Strikers are definitely now looking for redemption after a very disappointing showing in um, in the in the um, challenges. Leading up to um, to Reykjavik stage two, but whatever's going to be, whatever. So this is uh, so that's currently what the bracket currently looks like, and it will also be updated in thirty minutes time here, and then three hours in that one. And I think when that match is done, um, I think for I think the I don't know how it's going to be. It's a bit. It's going to be a bit weird. But I think it's going to be. All these teams from these brackets will be in a group. I don't know. I'm I'm a bit confused, but that's alright. Um, 
As for the other brack, as for the other ones, I don't really mind. I think um, CIS, I was won by um, Gambit Esports. Turkey, I actually cannot remember. I was won by Supermassive Blaze. So not Oxygen Esports, which I was expecting. Japan, Crazy Raccoons, and someone else, I think. Crazy Raccoons and Zeta Division. So it's kind of just like, um, it's just like the, the Brazil one. So the Vortex will be in the Challengers playoffs. Uh, to see, no one really, no, I don't really mind. I, I can't really be bothered really to go there. Latin America North, Six Karma, and Infinity are in Challengers playoffs. And for the South, Crew Esports and Astrals are in Challengers playoffs. That's really it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a bit, uh, a little bit quick, but I tried to get there as, um, as quickly as I could without making a, a long ass video. So that's really it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye. Came up a lot of sounds more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds more when I was not around.